are Liz Clayman and David Asman. And we start out with breaking news, a shocking report that union workers intentionally hampered a cleanup effort putting lives in danger in New York City. We're going to have the councilman who broke the story live here in just a few moments. According to today's New York Post, sanitation bosses in the city apparently ordered drivers to drag out this cleanup process to protest recent cutbacks and layoffs. The move, if true, left major arteries and side streets unplowed. And even more startling would have affected efforts by ambulances to reach 911 calls. Now, some of the tactics mentioned in the post story included leaving plows above the street so less snow would be removed. Can you imagine that? And our next guest says every city and town in America better prepare for more nonsense like this. Because public unions are in their death throes. Joining us now is Tom Belisis, CEO of John Thomas. Financial. Well, this is this really could have been a deadly action on the part yeah. of the unions, if true, because for one instance, a baby died because the ambulance that was trying to revive it was stuck because of the unplowed streets. So I read that story. there were deaths that happened as a result of the streets going unplowed. Correct. I got to tell you, I think an, a backlash with the unions is inevitable. I mean, they become way too powerful. I think they only make concessions when they're forced to. I mean, they become a cancer, and it's unfortunate. And again, you know, public unions here and around the world with governments have basically bankrupted countries. And you see what happened in Greece. Let's take a look at that. Tens of thousands of people protested in the streets against these cuts. In May, it turned so violent that three people died. That three people died. I mean, it doesn't have to get to that point, but that's where it is. And folks, we should mention that the New York Post actually had photographs of people sleeping, okay? Union and sanitation workers sleeping on the job. And that is what is, this is a day after, so Monday, big storm, of course, was Christmas Eve night and Correct. the day. And you look at that and you say, they just really hurt themselves. And they hurt their sort of profile if they had one in right. New York City. I think, you know, under this administration, let's talk about that for a second. The government union members, I mean, it's grown so much versus the private sector. And I think compensation has far exceeded the private sector, you know, in the public union arena. And I think that just shows that under this administration, it's been a complete failure. And, you know, at the end of the day, if there's not a stop put to this soon, surely there's going to be even more problems. Riots in the streets, you never know. Well, the main problem with public sector unions as opposed to private sector unions is, is there is a collusion between the government workers and the people who pay their salaries. I mean, obviously, it's the taxpayers who ultimately do. Absolutely. But the people who yeah. do the hiring and the people who raise the salaries are the folks in public office. They're brethren. Correct. There right. is a tension in the union private labor force that you don't have in the public sector union. I, I agree. You know, I think we should take it back to the Reagan days, and I think you guys remember this. Back in 1981, the air, right. co correct. What did Ronald Reagan do when he got off? He fired everyone. And that was a symbol that America was back. You know, if Obama was in office at that time, he would have gave ownerships to the airports. This is our money, by the way, taxpayer money that you actually pay Correct. to have this job done. And by the way, folks, you know, you count how many snowstorms. They're just a couple a year. Step up to the plate. And there are a lot of hard workers at sanitation who may, I'm imagining, may not have agreed with this and wanted to get out there, but they were getting the word from the top that, you know what, let's just show Mayor Bloomberg that he cut our budget too bad. That's, that's right. And you know what, they exploit that strength by strong arming as we would say say so, you know what if you don't concede or if we don't feel that a company is going to be forced into bankruptcy then you know what we're not going to accept the terms and no that's not the right way to By build the way, america even though 500 workers were laid off in the sanitation department uh, there, the actual amount of money that New York is spending on sanitation increased by $200 million over the past three years. Thanks to Tom Belisis. Appreciate you being here. Well